Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing this springtime smoky eye with a pop of blue under the lash line. It's something a bit different, so let's get started. So this may be a bit excessive for some people, but my face was feeling super dry. I'm using Fix Plus, the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer and the Smashbox Primer Water to prime my face before foundation, just because, like I said, my face was feeling super dry and I wanted all the moisture I could get. Then to prime my eyes, as always, I'm using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. To set that primer, I'm just using my NARS Press Powder, just so when eyeshadows go on over the top, they blend a lot more easier. You could use a bone-coloured shadow to do this. I'm then going in with Chickeny Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek on my Sigma E40, as always. Using Mango Tango, also from Makeup Geek, I'm just blending that further into the crease to deepen up the colours. Then using MAC Pigment in Whisper Pink. I have a feeling this is limited edition, but the NAC... The NAC? The MAC Naked Lunch eyeshadow is quite similar to this also, or the MAC Naked Pigment, but it's just a shimmery pink shade um, just on the lid. I'm then going in with Cocoa Bear into the crease as well, just to blend out the shadow that we've just placed onto the lid and to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. I'm then using a Bitten also from Makeup Geek to finally deepen the crease and it's just sticking with these warm shades to make my eyes look a bit bluer and just stick with the spring theme. Then just creating a simple cat eye wing, kind of starting really thin and getting a lot thicker towards the outside to create that cat eye effect and just using my NYC liquid liner to do this. Then just applying my favourite mascara in preparation for falsies and for these I'm using the House of Lashes Iconics because they've got a really gorgeous wing to them and they're not too dramatic but they add a bit of drama to the look. Now for face makeup, please ignore my hands, I needed to wash my fake tan off a bit better. I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 127, which I think a lot of you are going to tell me is too pale for me because I'm really tanned and this is quite a light one, but I do deepen it up with bronzer later on, so hopefully you guys won't care so much. I did go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, but I'm using the Soap and Glory Brow Archery and set it in place with the Gimme Brow from Benefit. To highlight, I'm using the LA Girl Creamy Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige, and then I brighten up under my eyes with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly.
I'd do something a bit different today and use a cream highlighter and this is just one from Topshop. I'm not sure on the colour but it says glow on it and I don't know if that's the shade or not. But to set my concealer I'm using the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC20 just to brighten it up and set it all in place. And then I'm using my NARS uh, All Day Luminous Pressed Powder in the shade BG to set the rest of my face. Now for the pop of colour, you can use any pop of colour you want. I decided to go for a bright blue and this is Aqua from Anastasia Beverly Hills which I'm sure they, she does sell in a single pan. I'm just taking that on a pencil brush under the lash line and then using uh, my favourite bottom lash mascara which is MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, I'm just applying the mascara. So that is the eyes completed. Now onto lips. I'm using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo and then going over the top with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Vintage. Um, she did send me all of her lip glosses which I am beyond grateful for. So let me guys, let me guys, let me know guys if you want to see maybe like a swatch video of them all because there is quite a few and they're all amazing but I'm just going back in with the lip cream in Cairo just to lighten it up again and that's the end of the look so I really hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know future videos you would like to see in in the future the giveaway will be announced in my next video so stay tuned for that one but until next until next time guys I will see you soon bye <laughs>